Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another HD cast. Today I've got a treat for you guys. It is going to be Mask versus Hydra and I don't really know who Mask is. Not too familiar with that name but of course everybody knows Hydra. He is notorious of course and uh, one of the best players, one of the best Zerg players really in the world. Mask here saying that uh, he's uh, Korean. Well Hydra is living in Korea but he is an American born native. Uh, moved to Korea to pursue his career in StarCraft, of course. Anyways, this is going to be a Terran versus Zerg. Uh, Mask here spawning as the Red Terran up at the top left, top left hand corner. And of course, his opponent Hydra spawning as the Blue Zerg down in the bottom left. And I do have to say that this map, not too friendly for Zerg players. You can grab your fast expand, but then this ledge up here makes it very difficult. And Mask can abuse that with Vikings or Siege Tanks. And of course, there's these rocks right here as well. Very difficult to hold on to your natural because of all these three. There's basically three entrances one here, one here and then the rocks back here. So it'll be uh, interesting to see if Aja tries to go for that natural expansion, that fast expo or not. And uh, apparently Mask and Aja are good friends. They're exchanging some uh, words of a uh of uh, friendly banter right there so possibly not going to be seeing that BM that a lot of players do associate with Hydra and uh, so yeah I've been hoping to bump into the prime guys I don't know if Mask is uh, mocking Hydra there uh, I haven't been keeping up with the conversation but come on you're facing Hydra one of the best uh, Zerg players that I've ever seen I think he might be referring to the fact that they're playing on the American servers and uh, Hydra is of the belief that most of the good players don't play on the US servers they do play on the uh, Asian servers. So it looks like Hydra here is going to be going for some kind of a one base build, getting his extractor down right away, gonna be going for that spawning pool. So we'll probably be seeing some fast speedlings. Um, no, maybe not. Hydra just getting that fast gas just for the early speed upgrade, I'm gonna assume. And he may just be getting that expansion. No, he's gonna be running this out to scout with that drone. I don't think he knows where Gerard is, no, he, or excuse me, where Mask is. And no, he does not. So he is going to be playing some kind of a one base build here. And I would assume that first one. 100 gas will go towards speed for his zerglings does mask is he aware he is not even aware of where uh, Hydra has spawned either and mask here has walled off his front door two zerglings currently on the way on that production tab and uh yeah, I think Mask here is going to be thinking about playing some kind of an economic build, going to be thrown down that early factory off of his first 100 gas, and we'll likely be seeing him get another refinery relatively soon. Could be seeing that 111 opening, uh, or not going to be seeing another barracks go down here for Mask. And uh, has he scouted? He still has not scouted Hydra at this point. His, uh, Of course, this is a four-player map, very large distances, and so uh, it, it's difficult for players to sometimes spot where their opponent has spawned, and they do have to make the long journey. But Hydra here going to uh, intercept this SCV with his two Zerglings and possibly could kill it before it gets over here. Of course, Mask wants to know, has Hydra fast expanded? What is he up to in his base? And indeed, Hydra has gone for a quick Roach Warren uh, with his gas. He He's saving up his resources right now to pump as many roaches as he can as he can uh, he's got one roach on the way and the SCV is gonna make it into the base but it does not see the roach worn so he still has no clue what is going on for all he knows it could be speedlings and mask here saying is it are you doing the send build uh, and what in good what in the good Lord's name is the send build unfortunately I'm not too familiar with it either um, I'm, I'm assuming it's some kind of a zergling build maybe roaches but uh, yeah mask here is gonna be getting a lot of barracks down he already has a siege tank on the way no upgrades for that siege tank and the siege tank will be extremely helpful against these roaches and Hydra here is pushing out with a lot of roaches uh, he is just massing roaches at this point um, about five or six and he could be looking to make an early break on this front door with his roaches but the siege tank that is coming out should be enough to repel these roaches uh, I'm really surprised that Hydra is, is, ba is bantering so much in this game not something you usually expect and here we go mask here lowering the supply depot he was thinking about pushing out himself and so both of them being aggressive gonna encounter each other right there but uh, Hydra is going to fall back seeing that siege tank and he has grabbed his expansion right now but he is going to need some additional forces. He's going to be getting three more roaches. And what is that incessant noise there? <laughs> the, those two Zerglings are going to be pounding on those rocks for a long, long time. Is Hydra going to be 
be able to hold on to this natural expansion though is the question he is waiting for more roaches to come out to help him but the Terran army is gonna start to go to work on this hatchery it is quickly falling below 300 he should definitely cancel this hatchery no he's not gonna cancel it I just here really making a fatal mistake losing 300 minerals that could have been uh, recuperated right there and Hydra here could be in a lot of trouble I don't think he expected to see such an early aggression from the Terran player and he does not have enough roaches to break this siege tank and a second siege tank on the way Hydra here needs to make something drastic happen and um uh, even though I said we usually don't see BM from Ija, I'm not going to discount the possibility now that uh, I'm sure he did not expect to see this from Mask. Going to push forward with five roaches here, one roach falls, and he's uh, Mask here has got to be careful. He needs more marines to help out his tanks. Two tanks are not going to be enough if the roaches focus fire. Mask realizing that, going to fall back, but he does have more marines reinforcing right here, and I would expect to see another battle occurring very soon. Income tab showing both players really even. Uh, uh, army tab showing both players uh, obviously even as well and uh, Idra here losing the majority of the units so far in the game but he is Zerg so he can uh, take that hit of course a lot of that coming from the fact that he lost his hatchery so you gotta wonder how much is that going to hurt him as the game continues to progress onwards really could have recuperated a lot of his resources there but uh, unfortunately allowed himself to lose that he still has not researched uh, Glio reconstitution nor has he oh there we go he is getting speed so finally putting some use to his gas besides just pumping out mass roaches I was wondering when he was gonna get some upgrades and uh, mask here has decided to go for siege tech so that is going to be superbly powerful against roaches and links combined those siege tanks do so much damage a uh, fourth barracks going down here for mass so Mask is uh, really got a massive uh, production capability here, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him possibly push out. And that could be seeing what we're uh, that could be what we're seeing right here, as he's grouped up several SCVs, and he might be making a uh, uh, one one time all in push here. He's getting another siege tank and four barracks, all pumping out marines. He's not even bothering to get any upgrades. And here we go, the SCVs leading the charge. So this is going to be pretty much an all in attempt. Idra here, does he see this? with his overlord he does indeed and um he's actually chatting he's like the reason there's no zergs on the server is <laughs> oh goodness i guess they are not friends after all and here we go this is going to be an epic confrontation is Hydra going to be able to hold on that is a lot of tanks the zerglings do have speed with those wings kicking in but they all get obliterated by the marines and mask here is possibly could He's possibly going to take this game. I just got to be raging so hard right now. And the question is, why did he not sacrifice an overlord to scout the Zerg base? Or excuse me, the Terran base. It was chilling over there the entire time. And the only person you can blame there, really, Idra, is yourself for not scouting this build. This 4 racks 1 factory build. How is he going to be able to hold on to this? I just don't think he can. Those tanks are just shelling away. And Mask here is saying, I am honored, sir, to receive Hydra Rage. <laughs> Hydra here is going to leave the game and congratulates his opponent as well. What an interesting uh, choice of words there from both players. I, I thought at first they were good friends, but apparently worst enemies in disguise. Uh, Mask here going to take the game against Hydra in a very much a, an all-in push, but a win is a win, so... Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that broadcast. Of course, StarCraft 2 is going to be coming out to a store near you or perhaps to your doorstep if you're ordering via Amazon, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, I hope you guys are all excited for the for the launch release date. And, uh, of course, I'll still be doing commentaries from here on out, uh, including once the game hits retail stores because there's going to be a lot of tournaments to cover, um, a lot of high-profile games. And, of course, I'm sure you guys still want to be able to watch that um, uh, entertaining those entertaining matchups. So, uh Make sure to stay tuned and uh, subscribe and a lot of big news coming uh, in the very near future that, uh, that we will be announcing. So thanks a lot, guys. HD, signing out.